Let us rejoice and be glad and give glory to God. For the Lord our God, the Almighty reigns. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins so as to prepare ourselves to celebrate these most sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Mary ever-Virgin, ever -Virgin, all the all angels and saints, and you, you my, my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray, pray for, for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. Thus Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite, a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The, the Lord, Lord is, is king, king, he is, is robed in majesty. The Lord is king in splendor robed. Robed is a Lord and girt about with strength. The Lord, the Lord is, is king, king, he is, is robed, robed in majesty. majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord, the Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, You must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can this happen? Jesus answered and said to him, 
You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you, we speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen, but you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today we not only uh, celebrate uh, Tuesday of the second week of Easter, it is also the optional memorial for St. Anselm. St. Anselm is uh, to, known to be a doctor of the church, and he was born in the year 1033. And the title doctor of the church means that this saint's writings or teachings uh, can be used to teach. Uh, they uh, contain great truths about our faith. And in uh, 1098, St. Anselm wrote one of his most famous uh, pieces called Why the God-Man? Why the God-Man? And in this, he defends the divinity of Christ and the humanity of Christ. Remember, Jesus wasn't 50-50. He wasn't 50% God, 50% man. He was 100% God and 100% human. Uh, the, there's two heresies that are associated with uh, either extreme. Uh, one that believes that Jesus was just this human guy that thought he was God was called Arianism. And then there was the other heresy that said yeah, Jesus was God, but he was pretending to be a human, which is kind of funny. Uh, and uh, that was called docetism. And so those were the two heresies that St. Anselm uh, fought against. Uh, just, you know, Jesus took on flesh 100% to save us, to set us free, and to take that human flesh and to offer it up on the cross to die as we die and then to rise as we will one day rise. This is what Easter is all about. This is what we call the Paschal Mystery. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And that's good news, especially in this day and age. We certainly need a Savior who is not distant and far off, but that is our Emmanuel. And may this spiritual communion that we share in this morning seek to remind us of this profound truth of God's love and mercy for us. And with hearts full of faith in the love and mercy of God, we cry out to him with these our needs. For the Church and all believers, may the Holy Spirit always be our guide. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civil and religious leaders, may God speak wisdom into their hearts as Jesus did for Nicodemus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who are trapped in physical or spiritual bondage, particularly as we live in times of social isolation, May life in the Spirit lead to freedom and redemption. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For this faith community, may God inspire us in our life of community, prayer, and generosity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For the faithful departed, may God lead them into the glory of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of all souls for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we offer you these our prayers and petitions, and we ask that if it be your will that you grant them, but only if it be for our benefit and for your greater glory. We ask this in all things in the name of Jesus, your Son, who is our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we've received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Humble spirit and country heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me of all of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to allow you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his rising, the life of all, has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim In your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. 
may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done. done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Of Lamb of God. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only, only say, say the, the word, word and my soul shall be healed. Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Christ had to suffer and rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. Alleluia. Our prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, at least, at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life 
and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.